Hello friends, welcome to BASPTrainings.com. My name is Sumit and uh, I would like to welcome all of you to the video series by BASP Trainings. I've got a lot of requirement from my clients that they would like to know how can we set up SQL Server 2008 R2 on VMware. So I decided to took a pain and uh, prepare a video on same to make them their work easy. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how can we set up SQL Server 2008 R2 and 2008 Management Studio on a virtual machine. So for this video, I'm using a virtual machine with Windows 7 64 bit operating system, which I have already been set up. Let me show you that. So that's the virtual machine which I have been set up with 64 bit operating system. Here I am giving links those who are not familiar with VMware and they would like to download VMware on their operating system. So they can follow this link to download VMware and as well as they can visit this link to download SQL Server 2008 R2 SP2 Express Edition along with the Management Studio. So once they download it, we'll begin the installation. So when you whenever you visit this link you will find out two options will be there one for 32 bit operating system and another for 64 bit operating system so as per your requirement you need to download the software so in this case i'm using 64 bit application because my operating system is a 64 bit operating system so let's move on to that switch to vmware and the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my computer on my desktop and I just want to find out what's the version so it's a 64 bit operating system I have already downloaded SQL server tools from the link which I shared you just now so I'm going to use SQL exprwt underscore 64 and that's the management studio so let's begin the installation right click run as administrator yes it will extract the files for down for installation so the extraction extraction may take some time it depends on the system speed and the files after that, it will open SQL Server Installation Center and here we will be requiring to click on this link, New Installation or Add Features to an Existing, installa existing Installation because I don't have SQL Server 2008 on my system. So this does not contain anything. It's a simple configuration tool. It's a blank. We don't have any management studio and any services for SQL Server. So I'm going to go for new installation. In next step, it will check for the SQL Server 2008 support files, setup support files. So in next step, I accept the license terms, click on next. And here I select the all the required features which I want I would like to install in my operating system. So I want to have a database engine service, SQL Server Application Management Tool Basic, and SQL Connectivity, SQL Client Connectivity SDK. So I select all of them. That's the library. That's the path where we can where we can install SQL Server. So if you if you want to set any other path, you can do that. Click on next. This is to create an instance. So we specify the name and the instance ID for the instance of SQL Server. 
So this is the named instance instance SQL Server. If you want to go for default instance, we can simply select default instance, and the default instance is MS SQL Server. Instances means that we can have multiple instance, multiple clients for a particular server, and in a single machine we can have multiple instance of a particular server. So I'll go with the default instance. I select default instance. Click on next. This is the service account and collection configuration. So I want to I want this server database engine to be start automatically. And SQL Server browser I want to set I set it automatically. So both of them they will start uh, automatically as soon as we start our system. And next. In this step, we will be going to give the authorization. So by default, it will select Windows authentication mode, but I would like to have my own credentials. I would like more security onto it. So I'll say mixed mode and here I set the password as any password. So the username for this as mixed mode SQL Server authentication is SA and the password would be anything. So password, whatever you set. So I said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and next. Next. So it will install the process. So it may take some time to complete the installation. And once the installation is completed, we will get a confirmation message. And after that, we need to set up SQL Server Management Studio to get access this data file. So you can see here I got a message that your SQL Server 2008 installation has been completed successfully and to check the log files we can click on this link to get the log files. So I simply click on close. So the installation of SQL Server has done successfully. So let's close it and check whether this SQL Server has installed along with Management Studio or not. If it hasn't so then we will be going to set, we'll be going to install as Management Studio as well. So let's go and check. So first of all, I'm going to close it and then let's click on start. Here I'm getting SQL Server 2008 R2 and here I'm getting SQL Server Management Studio. It means the version which I have been installed just now, it contains SQL Server Management Studio. Just in case if you did not get Management Studio along with your installation, then the link which I have shared to you in PPD, you can visit that link, download it and install and uh, you can sap, uh, set up the SQL Server Management Studio separately. Let's go and verify whether the installation has been completed successfully or not, or it's working perfectly fine or not. So I'm going to use the SQL Server authentication. Login ID is SA and password is 12345678. And that's my server name. Click on connect. And I have been connected successfully. I'm able to access databases. I'm able to run queries. These are system databases. If I want to create a database, I'm able to do that. It means the SQL Server is working perfectly fine. And it has been set up successfully. So that's all in this video. If you have any queries, you can write to us on www.bisp20.com. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on SQL Server. If you want to have a customized training on SQL Server or database related training, you can connect with us or you can drop an email to us on www.bisptrainings or bispsolutions.com. You can share your comments as well. Have a nice day. Keep watching. Bye.